to stop? Yeah, just stop. You no, know. I don't think it is in the front. I it can't must see. They're looking, quite they're looking pretty <laughs> attentively at something. What is up guys, good morning and welcome to Supercars of London. The sun is shining, it is Geneva day four or five, I've kind of lost track. However, there are so many YouTubers all concentrated in one place that I thought this is the perfect opportunity to head over to a couple of Geneva dealerships, check out some of the stock that they've got and do an idiot's go car shopping. So I've teamed up with Parker from Vehicle Verges, Sam from Seen Through Glass and Seb from Seb Delaney and we have arrived at the Smart dealership to kick things off because in complete stark contrast about 20 meters that way there is a satin black LaFerrari and Sam in true fashion has parked like a douchebag these are the parking spaces and he has decided to take his own space and leave the window open allowing people to steal his phone the key and more importantly, my GoPro down there. I think this is the first time that I've ever seen a LaFerrari in snow. The owner is such a baller, daily drives his LaFerrari and even drives it in the snow. I've never seen this before, guys. Check this out. I mean, he is not gonna get any traction there. Look at the snow, this is crazy. This car kind of has a bit of an identity crisis. I can't work out whether it's satin black in pictures it looks satin black. I don't know whether on this camera it's looking like satin dark blue or satin dark grey, but it's a mixture of them all and the roof has been repainted from red to black, but there isn't enough layers, meaning that it still looks a little bit red, so it's like a deep cherry red roof, which if that's what the owner's going for, then fair play, but... What do you think, Parker? It's amazing. Yeah. Look at all the carbon fibre. Spared no expense. Spared, <laughs> spared no expense. And it's in the snow. I love how we've all discounted the GT3 R Bentley. I was Bentley. about to make a comment on it. Oh, wait. Why are you talking about it off camera? Did you see the singer? That didn't happen then. Did you see the singer, Paul? Yeah, I've seen the singer. I've seen the 540C. It's not a it's not it's a oh, yeah. Paul calls every old Porsche singer. <laughs> 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 what is happening? What is going on? I thought that was off film. <laughs> no, you can't show my true personality on film. <laughs> <laughs> we have left the Benny dealership. We're heading to Lamborghini. My favorite pastime in the entire world is going to have a look at Lamborghinis in the flesh. And I've just realized that I've decided to squeeze myself in the back of the Lusso. Squeeze, rather, don't say squeeze. It's very the, roomy back Seb, there. Seb behind us in a McCann. Like, I could have sat with him, but I decided to you go want to be in, a in the rear of the Ferrari, which I find incredibly sad for Seb. Guys, there is a yellow carpet to the front door. We've been invited by Lamborghini Geneva and Bastian, who works at the Lamborghini Geneva dealership, and we're going to head in. Check it out. This is going to be the first time that I get properly up close and personal with the Lamborghini Urus, and I've been told we can start it. So we get to hear what the Urus sounds like, and it's just not happened before. So we've turned up in a Ferrari and we're being welcomed into Lamborghini. I think if we turned up in a Lamborghini and went up to a Ferrari dealership, might be a little bit different. We have arrived in what would be a 20 strong car showroom, but because they had the Lamborghini Urus event last night, which is parked over there, all of the cars have been moved and shifted either downstairs or into the showroom next door. So this isn't how Lamborghini Geneva usually looks. This is probably the worst that you could see it, which just comes down to the fact that we can only come here today. But I'm excited about checking out the Urus, hearing it, but then going underground and seeing all of the other cars that they've got here. Oh, this is a nice color. Yeah, that is a good spec. I've never seen this color before. Wait, that's actually amazing. Yeah. I actually haven't seen, I didn't see it at the show, the car. So this is the first time I see it. This is... I should have brought this to the show. This is really nice. This is the first look that I get of the Urus. Wow. This is cool. Showroom Whoa. next door, and they have a crazy 
inventory of used Lamborghinis. Look at this. This is my favorite Gallardo of all this time. The good. Super Trofeo Stradale, the ultimate final edition of the Gallardo. I am walking in between two manual 6.2 Murcielagos. This is the car that I grew up falling in love with. And this one has been converted into LP640 spec. It has got the tail lights, it has got the bumpers, it has got the side skirts, it has got the wheels, it has got everything apart from the engine bay, which is a pretty obvious giveaway. But the fact that I am surrounded by so many Murcielagos, and there is a Murcielago Roadster back here and Diablos. It's just the coolest thing ever. I'm so glad that we used this opportunity to come and check out Lamborghini Geneva. We had a down day, we didn't have anything planned, and we were like, let's just go and check out some dealerships. Bastian got in touch and said, do you wanna come down to Lamborghini Geneva? And here we are, GT3 touring here. This is the first one that I've seen with the manual gearbox. Look at the, look, I mean, there just isn't a rear diffuser on this car. Really? Yeah. Just no bumper? <laughs> oh yeah, there's, oh my God, it's just nothing. <laughs> It's just the exhaust pipes. Just like, That's sick. Good for them. Look at the interior. Have you seen the interior on this Diablo? No. Is it green? It's green and blue. It's green and blue, yeah. <laughs> That's bold. <laughs> oh. Shoot. Down into the Lamborghini deck. Or should we trust this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Follow me into the dark corner. <laughs> We're going down even further into the labyrinth. It smells of like oil. Yeah, this is... Uh, oil spill. I'm not sure what we're going to find out here. <laughs> oh, Lamborghinis. Oh, what, a, what a surprise. <laughs> there is the original LM002 Lamborghini. There's a lot of Rambo Lambo. I just feel like I can use Parker's audio in his voiceover because it's so funny. Oh! But this one is a, it's a covering. Like, like a brushed aluminum covering. Has it been wrapped? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's oh, a telltale sign actually in the engine bay. All I heard was Sam say this is nuts. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? <gasps> Mini! And this one is wow. the one of the Super Trofeo Stradale. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Yeah
That's just the craziest thing I've ever seen. I need to take pictures of this. <laughs> Jesus. We have just spent the last half an hour or so looking at Lamborghinis, which in my eyes are just the coolest things ever. But, I mean, this is a spaceship and I don't have any other words to describe what we're witnessing. <laughs> I'm still here all about this car. I thought you were hungry, Sam. Honestly, this you could not care anything about food right now. I'm freaking out. I don't know where to put my camera next. This is like, if I won the lottery, first thing I'd go and buy. Is that FF? No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Seen Through a Glass. <laughs> Sam drives on to Leon in the Ferrari. And as we are here, I've got so many things in my hand. This is going to take a little while. Flicking it around and not dropping the camera. And this is pretty cool. That's not too bad. But anyway, with my hands full and a Koenig egg behind me, ladies and gentlemen, that is a Geneva edition of Idiots Go Car Shopping. We have had an absolute blast. Make sure you head over to Parker's channel, Sam's channel, and Seb's channel because we all tried to do something slightly different on this day and we all saw different cars. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Goodbye.